Hello friends, my name is Akshata and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So recently uh, there was a question uh, that went on 28th of September. So that was questions from Infosys recruitment test. So the questions were, uh, some questions were of easy level and some were like really hard ones. And in fact I would say that pseudo coding level was really amazing. The questions were absolutely great. It's not, uh, it cannot be found anywhere on the internet. You have to solve it logically. If you are good with data structures and good with the, you know, like usual programming algorithms that are known like knapsack, zero by one, point exchange problems and some of those. If you are good with it, then you can easily crack it. Uh, so I've picked out some random questions from the Infosys set that came yesterday so let's see uh, how to solve those so this is one of the most basic question that came uh, in how many ways the letter of the word plan zone be arranged so that all vowels come together okay so you can see that here are p l a n z o n e so here are basically eight words or rather say eight alphabet and how many vowels are there? A, O, E. So three vowels are there and six consonants are there. Okay. So now you have to arrange three vowels. There are possibility of arranging three vowels among themselves. That would be uh, three factorial. That is equal to six. Refactorial equal to six. Let me just move it a little bit here. Yes. Okay. And for six consonant, for arranging six consonant, it would be like six factorial. That is equal to seven hundred and twenty. So now it's saying that how in how many ways we can arrange it. So it's simply nothing. It's just uh, three factorial into six factorial equal to four three two zero. So the answer comes as four three two zero. So now you have to see uh, the little trick is here that n is repeated twice you can see that n is here is also here and it's also here so you cannot just uh, keep it same you have to divide whole by 2 to get the actual answer so that would be 2160 and that is the correct option here this is this would be the answer okay. so let's go with the second question uh, this question actually took a lot of time considering the time given for the exam the number substituted in each column should be unique and add up to the topmost cell of the corresponding column so suppose 23 is written here then uh, like the combinations would be like 998 uh, 9 9 18 18 plus 5 23 but the catch is here is that only unique elements only unique number can be used so you have to arrange yourself like 986 then it would give 23 uh, second condition says the number substituted in each row should be unique and add up to the leftmost cell of the corresponding uh, of the corresponding row. So it's also like this here. Uh, for 25, you have to add it correspondingly. Here you have given four cell space, and for suppose like 17, it's been given two cell space, and number used are from one to nine only, obviously. Okay, so let's just start with the grid. So here it's written 23, 25, 24. Okay, so first of all, the what was my actual step was that I just write down the all the combinations. So for 23, what exactly do we require for 23? We require 
we require 9, 8 and 6. This is the only combination possible for, with the unique number of digits to sum up to 23. For 24, the only possible combinations were 9, 8 and 7. Okay. For 17, the only possible combination was 9 and 8. So you just have to first understand that what kind of combination are possible. Uh, that is that would be only unique and you just have to rotate then digits among these grid okay so for 17 uh, let's start with 9 and 8 i have solved the question on my own that is why i am entering the exact value uh, but with hit and trial case also you may get to the exact value soon okay so now now what question arises for 3 what would i do for 3 there are only two options 1 plus 2 okay so i'm giving in one here two here now for 15 after 15 subtracting 2 there is uh, the remaining option is 13 and for 13 the sum would be like only 6 and 7 okay and you are here seeing that 6 is only for can you only be used in 23rd column and 7 can only be used in 24th column so that is why i'm entering 6 here and i'm entering Okay, so now uh, for the remaining options 9, 6, if for 23, if 9 has been used, 6 can be used, then only option left is 8. Here for 24, if 7 has been used, if 8 has been used, then the only remaining option is 9. Okay, so now to guess the question mark, we can easily say that 8 plus 9 plus 1. Uh, 9 plus 1 10 18 uh, so that would give me 7 to replace the question mark after so the answer for this question is 7 we have to actually tell what value should come in the question mark is. so this would be the correct answer for this specific question okay so let's just move on to the next question so the next question is one uh, this is basically a series and I actually took a lot of time to figure it out. So let's just take what is in the series. In this series, uh, the elements, uh, the calculation is done after every, uh, skipping after every two elements. So basically 1, 0, minus 1 and the next element would be in the series. So like 1, 0, minus 1. So what's the pattern here? Uh, the pattern is 1, minus 1, that gives 0, 0, minus 1, that will give you 1. Okay, so let's go for the second. Uh, it's not 2, 3, and the blank. So the sequence here is 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1, that would give me 2, then 3, and then 4. Okay, 2 plus 1, that would give me 3, 3 plus 1, that would give me 4. So now for the last sequence that is the 3 although I have got the answer from here only that the answer should be option A but let's just tell the reason behind this next one also. So for uh, 0 uh, it's starting from here that is 3 to the power 1 minus 0 then 3 square minus 1 then 3 cube minus 2 okay so 3 to the power 1 minus 0 that would give me 3 then I skip 2 elements then 8 3 to the power 2 that is 9 minus 1 would, would give me 8 uh, I skip 2 elements then 3 to the power 3 that is that is 27 and 27 minus 2 okay Sorry, the question was incorrect. The question was actually this. Sorry, actually, I I actually wrote down the question from the question paper. And so yeah, this was the mistake. That was actually twenty five. Yeah. So the correct option would be here four point zero. Okay. Now next move to the next question. Question four. While signing an MOU in the office room, there were two parties of two different companies. Both the party had equal number of officials. Every official shakes hand with every person present in office room. If there were total of 66 handshakes in the MOU signing, number of person 
presented in a party of a single company is okay so now basically uh, here you have to tell the value of how many total number was present okay so it's like so for this question we will uh, go with this uh, logic that if there were total of 66 handshakes okay so you know uh, that suppose there are n number of people in a company suppose for example right now n number of people are there in a company uh, and if they handshake with every other people then they actually did the handshake with n minus one number of people because they cannot handshake with themselves okay so now uh, every handshake would be counted as one only uh, every two handshake would be counted as one only because uh, like person one is uh, shaking to person two and person two is in return shaking hand with person one so it's actually divided by two so this is like the formula build up for this equation so now we know that this is the specific equation and for this specific equation the value is given me as 66 okay so if you solve the value of n then you will get the value of n as 12 because uh, like 12 into 11 equals to 132 12 into 11 equals to 132 and then 132 divided by 2 equals to 66 okay so the value of n would be here as 12 now the question is not asking how many total number of uh, person were presented in a party uh, the question is asking uh, how many numbers are there in a specific party that is there are two parties so we will now divide 12 by 2 so that would give us 6 so correct answer for this question is 6 yeah so this was a little tricky one uh, let's move on to the next question that is yeah this was a pseudo code I'm telling you pseudo code was uh, was very difficult at this time in the enforcer's recruitment test okay so this was one of the question from it uh, here basically uh, integer mean that is constant int i x equals to 59 for i equals to 0 i is less than x and i decremented we have to print uh, is it is printing a so now question is asking uh, what changes uh, do we have to make to print a exactly 59 times okay so now here you can see i is less than x is written so when uh, x value of x is 59 okay for this specific condition it will go like 0 is less than x true and it will decrement minus 1 is less than x true but it would go to the infinite loop because uh, I would always be like smaller than x so now we have to use uh, we have to replace it uh, now we will check the options um, the first option is replace x by 60 okay so replacing x by 60 would not make any changes because i is getting decremented to the negative position first i would be like 0 then minus 1 then minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on it will go up to the infinite so replacing x by 60 would not uh, help at all uh, now second uh, statement says put minus before i in second for loops expression so what is second for loops expression it is this part first expression is this third expression is this and second expression is this so now what saying putting minus so suppose you have put minus then it would be like this So minus minus would actually cancel out each other and it would give me 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is actually the correct option for this specific question. Um, then, but then also let's move on to the next option. Uh, replace i by n for all expressions in the loop. Okay, so replacing i by n, n we don't know what is n, what is the value of n. So it's just confusing. Uh, the last option is replace uh, less than by multiply operator in for loops second expression so it's saying uh, it should be like i into x i equals to 0 i into x so it would be like okay uh, it won't give any exact uh, answer to my question so the correct option would be this one for the specific question uh, so that's it guys for this video if you have any queries regarding the video or if you have any specific question that came into the paper and you are unable to solve it or anything like that 
you may post down your query in the comment section given below and i'll soon try to upload more videos like this although I, there were so many sets and so many questions uh, i cannot write each and every question because i've written every question here so feel free to like and share it and if there is any query do type it out in the comment section given below thank you